In Create, there are many ways to generate rotational power, but nothing is more complex than the steam engine. In order to build such a device, it involves placing some tanks, some fluid tanks on top of some kind of heat source, and then connecting the steam engine block to it. But as you can see, the steam engine is currently not doing anything. That is because in Create, the power of a steam engine is dependent on a few factors. The size of the boiler, the amount of water going into the boiler, and the heat of the boiler. All of these must come together to represent the steam engine's level, whether it's max, passive, or somewhere in between. All of these stats are visible with use of the engineer's goggles. The simplest metric to understand is probably size. It's dependent on the number of fluid tanks that make up your boiler. And every four fluid tanks, you get another level of size. A steam engine needs water to function, and its water level is determined by how much RPM is pumping water into the boiler. This mechanical pump here is pumping with 20 RPM, and that's saving us one level in the boiler. The rule of thumb is, every level of water that you desire, you're going to need 20 RPM for each level. So for a level 3 boiler, you're going to need 60 RPM. For this level 9 boiler, finally is heat. We need to boil the water inside the steam engine to get it to turn into steam to turn the engine. And heat is provided by some kind of heat source. Uh, but different sources produce different amounts of heat. And what you're thinking of all of the easy to get heat sources like campfires and lava and magma blocks, they're all going to provide you with a passive level of heat, which gives you just the minimum level to get a steam engine going. So you're essentially stuck with one level. But if you want to get a higher level steam engine, we're going to need our good old friend, the blaze burner. And specifically, we're going to need a heated blaze burner. A passive blaze burner just provides another one level of heat. A heated one, each blaze burner block provides one level of heat. So there's nine in this array here. That's giving us a level nine heat value. I have four blaze burners that are currently active, giving us a level four heat value. But let's say you want to go even further with your blaze burners. That's where you can superheat them. Using a blaze cake, you can overclock your blaze burners, where each blaze burner produces two heat. So my array of three by three, nine blaze burners total that are all superheated are providing 18 levels worth of heat. Now that you've got a steam engine, you want to get the rotational energy out of it so you can use it for things. In order to do this, you're going to need the steam engine block briefly discussed before. If you place it on the side of your steam engine, you'll get something that looks like this. Now this still doesn't do anything. In order to actually get the rotation out of it, we're going to put the shaft on, like so. Now you can see it is spinning. And now you can connect this to other devices for whatever your create needs are. But this isn't all the rotational energy that the boiler can produce. It's only taking out about 16k of it. In order to get all of it, you're going to need to add more steam engines. Our level 18 steam engine over here, the max level that you can get, requires 18 steam engine blocks to get all of the rotational energy out of the steam engine. Why don't we now build a steam engine? So first, I'm going to put my heat sources down. In this case, is going to be blaze burners. Next, I'm going to take fuel tanks and place them on top of the blaze burners. Then our steam engine is going to need water. So you can simply get water by just making an infinite water source like you do in normal Minecraft. I'm going to take a mechanical pump, put it on top of the water like so, where the pump is one block, is the next block above the water. And it's where it will, if it takes the water out, then water will refill itself. This is important because our little pump here will actually delete water blocks, so we want to put it in an infinite water source. Connect it up, uh, give it some rotational energy. I'm using a creative motor. Obviously, if you're in survival, you will need to have some other way to generate cre uh, rotational energy. Put some steam engines on the side. And let's ha have a look at the stats. So for this size of boiler, we're gonna want level two. So for level 2 water, that's going to be 20 RPM per level, meaning we're going to want 40 RPM. As you can see, our water's up, but our heat is not. 
Now you can either use a deployer or a mechanical hand, but I'm just going to feed my blazes. There we are. In fact, we don't even need that many blaze burners. One will actually do for a level two, or sorry, two will do for a level two steam engine. And that's how you can create a steam engine. So steam engines can be very big and colossal, or they can be very small and provide you with just enough rotational energy that you need. Or you can connect steam engines together. Like in order to give this guy the water that it needs, we're actually using a rotational speed controller and a passive steam engine. So this is just the basics of ushering Minecraft into the industrial age with steam engines and the create mod. If you need any help, please post a question in the comments. I hope this video was informative, and I will see you later.